As Election Day draws near, we are committed to helping you separate fact from fiction. Tonight, Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick goes after Democrat Leticia Vandepute in his new ad. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller takes an in-depth look at the claims his campaign is making. Leticia Vandepute is out of touch with Texas parents and wants Washington bureaucrats to run our schools. Liberal Leticia voted to keep Common Core in Texas. In this ad, Republican Dan Patrick makes the case that his opponent misses the mark on education. Liberal Leticia voted to keep Common Core in Texas. That's misleading. Leticia Vandepute did vote against a bill aimed to block the Common Core school standards in Texas, but it was not specifically a vote for the Common Core standards in the state. Also, saying that Vanapute voted to keep the standards in Texas could insinuate Texas was following the Common Core standards, which it's never adopted. Opposed school choice. That's misleading as well. Vanapute authored a bill in 2004 that would not allow tax money to be used for private school expenses. She also voted against a bill related to charter schools, and both of those fit under what Patrick commonly refers to as school choice. But the ad leaves out the fact that Vanapute voted for a bill Patrick authored, increasing the charter school cap, among other changes. And actually voted to stop schools from removing teachers convicted of a felony. That's mostly untrue. Vandepute voted against a bill that makes it easier for teachers to be fired for certain felonies. The vote did not stop schools from firing teachers for felonies altogether, as the ad claims. Hi, I'm Dan Patrick, as Senate Education Chair. I passed some of the biggest reforms in decades to improve Texas schools. My education plan will empower parents, teachers, and school districts, not government. Real reform, better schools. Dan Patrick for Lieutenant Governor. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigates. And to take a look at our other ad fact checks, including one from Vandepute's campaign, you can visit our website at kxan.com. If it seems like you've seen more negative ads in recent years, you're right. This chart from the Westland Media Project compiled all political advertising over the last few election cycles. You can see it's increased by more than 30 percent. And in 2012, less than 15 percent of political ads were positive.